This is how you can host your Discord bot online 24-7 for free. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm assuming a lot of you have clicked on this video because you were hosting with Heroku and you need an alternative as they are ending their free service uh, in a couple of days. So this is how you can do it. We're going to be using Discloud in this video and a couple of months ago I made a video with Discloud, uh, but they have updated how you host your bot. Um, so we're going to be hosting it the new way. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to change the language to English. Then we can go ahead and log in. It's going to have you log in with Discord, um, and it might bring you to a prompt, and you might have to authorize your account. Um, but yeah, once you have logged in, all you have to do is just uh, minimize the website for now. After you have minimized the website, just go ahead and open the bots file. We're going to go ahead and create a new file. It's going to be called discloud.config. Um, so we're going to fill in this information, id equals... Uh, type equals main equals ram equals uh, auto restart equals version equals and then apt tool or apt equals we're gonna go ahead and fill all this information in so discloud can host your bot properly so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna start with our bots ID so to do that, we're just going to go to the tutorial bot and we're going to go ahead and click copy ID. To get this, you might need to turn on developer mode in settings, but if you already have this and you're good to go, just copy the ID. We can go ahead and paste this here. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and fill the rest of it in. So we can do type equals a bot. Um, main is the main file. So for me, it's index.js. For you, it might be something different. Um, RAM 100 auto restarts. We can say false or true. So this is like if the bot crashes or something, it would automatically try to turn back on. So you might want this to be on. I'm just going to turn it on. So we can do true version. We can do latest and then APT. We can do tools just like that. So we can go ahead and do control save to save it. We can go ahead and close out of Visual Studio Code and I'm going to go ahead and reload the file so that the Discloud config shows up. So now we're going to go ahead and highlight all of these files in here except for node modules and then we're going to go ahead and right click. So you can either compress it to a zip file which is what I would recommend doing or if you have something else like 7-zip you can do it that way um, but however you convert your files into a zip, just go ahead and convert it into a zip. So I'm just going to do it like this. All right, so once you've compressed it to a zip, you're just going to want to go ahead and drag that out of the file because you do not want this in your code file. So I'm just going to put it on the desktop for now. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and open Discord. So you have to open Discord on the same account that you use to log in on the Discloud website um, because it is going to put you in a Discloud server. So we're going to go down here and we're just going to do dot .upload just like that. And we're going to go ahead and navigate over to the ticket. So now we're just going to go ahead and fill in all of this information to host the bot. So just like before, we're going to go ahead and get the application ID. So we're going to go into the server. We're going to right click, copy the ID, and we'll just paste it. And then we're going to um, get our main file. So it's either index or whatever, whatever you use. For me, it's index.js. Um, and then we're just going to type 100 here. Now we're going to get our zip file. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm just going to minimize this and we're going to go ahead and drag uh, the zip file in here and we're just going to go ahead and upload it. So that's going to load, but keep in mind, this might take a little bit of time because you are uploading it for the first time. So just be patient as it loads. Now that it's loaded, you're going to get a ping in here. This is where it's going to tell you if your bot is online or if it crashes or whatever. So you get a ping in here. Um, if you want to see your logs, you can go into the commands file and you can do dot logs just like that. And then you can either get a DM from the bot or you can just click this and open up the link right here. And then you can see your logs. If you would like to uh, commit or save any changes, all you have to do is type in .c. It's going to go ahead and open a new ticket. And basically what you want to do is you're going to want to go into your code file and you're going to uh, save all the changes you made. You're going to make a new zip and then you're just going to drag that zip in here and then just go ahead and send it. It will do this, it will say wait, of course, it will load. And of course, once it's done, you'll get another ping in here. Um, it will say that it's updated successfully and all that stuff. If we go over to the Discord server, we can do the test command. And as you can see, the bot is online. If we close out of all this um, and we run it again, the bot will still be online. It will stay on for pretty much ever unless it crashes. Um, but yeah, if this worked for you, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. If it didn't, go ahead and join the Discord server in the description below, and we'll be able to help you out getting your bot online 24-7.
Uh, and with that, I will see you guys in the next video.